Hi everyone, my name is Jen Broyles and I'm excited to be with you all today for our Friday education series. And today the topic is essential oils and gut health. And so I think this is, um, first of all, a very important topic, but also probably a very popular topic um, given just the, the rise in digestive conditions and digestive problems that we're seeing um, everywhere. And so really, you know, learning how to support your gut, support your digestive health in a very healthy way and natural way is so incredibly important. And so um, let's go ahead and dive in and talk about some essential oils that can really help support digestive wellness. So as you know, digestive health is paramount to overall health. You know, an unhealthy digestive system can lead to overgrowth of bad bacteria and yeast. Food can't be broken down properly. Essential nutrients aren't absorbed and the immune system is ultimately compromised, which may leave you feeling fatigued and run down. And overgrowth of bad bacteria leads to a higher risk of infections and allergies and inflammation and just other unwanted <laughs> symptoms. And it can lead to uncomfortable digestive symptoms too, such as constipation, diarrhea, gas, bloating, acid reflux, eczema, and other skin conditions, and even weight gain. So, so the gut really is the cornerstone of good health. And you know, if you are someone out there that's um, struggling with gut issues, then you're also going to need to support other body systems as well. You know, when when one body system is out of balance, it usually causes other body systems to to struggle, such as hormone balance, detox, adrenal health, and your immune system. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Although our focus today is going to be oils for gut health, you also need to remember to address all these other areas as well. And one of, one great thing that you can do to really support your entire body, um, you know, your gut, your immune system, your detoxification system, your hormones, everything is to have that foundational health and that foundational piece, which is the lifelong vitality system. And so I know many of you are already on that, um, but that is one thing that I recommend to all of my clients because you need that foundation. Um, in addition to a healthy diet and a healthy lifestyle, you need those whole food nutrients to really support your body at a cellular level. And that's where the whole food multivitamin comes in, your essential fatty acid complex, and that antioxidant complex that's found in the lifelong vitality system. So that is a wonderful place to start in addition to some of the oils that we are going to talk about. So when it comes to gut support, just in general, a few oils to consider that can really help support gut health are digestin, which is our digestive blend, ginger, peppermint, lemongrass, fennel, marjoram, rosemary, just to name a few. So all of those oils are amazing. And we're gonna talk about some specific oils that you might consider starting with um, that are just really, really well known for gut health. And as we know, in addition to a healthy diet, because healthy diet is critical, like you can't, you can't think you can continue on the standard American diet and eating a ton of processed foods and sugar and just use essential oils and it's going to make you better. So, you know, making lifestyle changes is an absolute must. But in addition to that, in addition to your healthy diet and stress management and good quality sleep, essential oils can really aid in supporting digestive health and function. So eating healthy is dependent on a healthy GI tract. I mean, you have to eat healthy and um, your GI tract needs to be healthy for you to be able, be able to absorb everything that you're eating. The nutrients you get from your food are best utilized by a properly functioning digestive tract. And your digestive system is responsible for breaking down and absorbing those nutrients and preventing foreign toxic molecules from entering the bloodstream. So you really need the correct balance of enzymes and the correct balance of good bacteria for optimal digestive health. You know, we, we often hear you are what you eat, but it really is you are what you digest and absorb. And so you have to have a healthy GI system to, to be able to digest and absorb those nutrients. So um, a couple of things, we're, we're just gonna kind of break it down even further and talk about specific digestive symptoms that you might be experiencing and then the oils that can really help support and aid in that. 
So if you are someone that's dealing with occasional bloating, um, a few oils to consider are digestin, peppermint, lavender, and frankincense. Those oils can really be supportive and help ease and um, soothe any discomfort that is resulting from, from feeling bloated. And you're gonna notice as we you know break things down that every, every category, I'm going to recommend digestin. So if there's one oil to start with, it's gonna be digestin. And um, this is our digestive blend and it's amazing. So it is designed to support a healthy digestive system. And this blend has been very well studied. All of the oils in this blend are very well studied for their ability to support the GI tract and balance the digestive system and really help soothe any digestive ailments. And so I just wanna run through the oils that it contains and how they each play a role. So ginger has a very calming influence on the digestive system and it may reduce feelings of motion sickness and occasional nausea. Peppermint, peppermint is very well studied in the literature for its ability to support digestive ailments. It's anti-inflammatory, it's soothing, it's cooling. It really supports a variety of digestive ailments. Tarragon may reduce gas, spasms, or nervous and sluggish digestion. Fennel helps support the liver, and it also plays a role in hormone balance as well. So it's a great, great oil. Um, it's actually one of the oils in here that, that gives digestion its um, licorice type flavor so not everyone loves the taste of digestion for that reason but um i you know for me i was like i will overcome the taste if it works and it does it works and i use this on a very regular basis um caraway helps reduce spasms and um, harmful pathogens in the gi tract it also helps with indigestion and gas coriander has anti-inflammatory properties anti-spasmodic properties it helps with indigestion gas and it helps regulate motility and anise helps calm and strengthen the digestive system so all of these oils combined together really serve an amazing role in supporting digestive function and so a couple ways that you can use digestin and the majority of the other oils that we're going to talk about today is um, really the topical use and the internal use are gonna be the best ways to use these oils for gut support. And so one thing you can do with digestin is just you know combine a couple drops in the palm of your hand with a little bit of carrier oil, like fractionated coconut oil, and just rub it over your abdomen in a clockwise direction. And that can really help soothe and support any discomfort that you're feeling. Another way you can use it is internally. So again, one to two drops in some water or in a veggie capsule can really help support the digestive system from the inside and really target, target the situation at the root. And so uh, for those of you that don't like the taste of digestion, what I recommend is just add, um, add one to two drops to a couple ounces of water, um, like a shot glass amount, and just shoot it back. And so you just drink it in one gulp and it's done or add it to a veggie capsule so you don't have to taste it. And that works really, really well. So, um, so I love using digestin those two ways. I find a lot of relief and I get a lot of benefit from it. So I'm a huge fan of digestin. Um, some people uh, really get benefit from just peppermint by itself and that's great. So I encourage you to, you know, try some of these different oils, experiment with them and see which works best for you. But peppermint is a really another, is, is another good one. To, to try and for some people peppermint does the job um, perfectly so that's great but um, but yeah have fun experiment and see see how you get your best results and again like I said lavender and frankincense are other good ones to consider um, using them topically or internally and, and see see what works best so another common problem a lot of people experience in terms of digestive issues is motility you know um, is your motility moving too slow or is it moving too fast? Um, and there's certain oils that can support that. So if you feel like you're having sluggish digest digestion, then you might find that rosemary or lemon, peppermint, marjoram, ginger, fennel, or orange might be good solutions for you. So those are all ones to try, okay? So the citrus oils are great, rosemary is wonderful, peppermint. Um, and again, digestin is gonna be a good one to, to really try. Um, 
you know, ideally we should be eliminating um, and moving our bowels one to three times a day. So if it's less than that, you know, if you're going a couple times a week, that is not enough. So we really want to try to support that and speed up that motility. So again, you know, drinking lemon in your water, um, adding, you know, taking digestin or using peppermint or rosemary or ginger, that can really help support that process. Now, if you are running to the bathroom frequently throughout the day, um, then that's probably too much. So we need to slow down and help regulate your motility in that way. And so some oils to consider there. Again, digestin, but also peppermint, ginger, and geranium. So those are all great oils. And you'll notice that digestin, peppermint, ginger, they work for both. So a lot of these oils have adaptogenic properties which means that they are going to support your body in the way that your body needs to be supported. So it's great that it can work for so many different concerns. All right, so what about abdominal pain? So I know that can be very uncomfortable, abdominal pain, discomfort, and abdominal discomfort can be caused by a lot of different things. So, you, so there's some different oils that can help. And again, trial and error is gonna be your best route or your best tool to do this. And so a few oils to consider for any type of abdominal discomfort, basil, clary sage, and again, digestin. So in this regard, you know, using it topically is what I would recommend to do first. Um, just apply some digestin or some clary sage onto your abdomen or even basil and, and see if that really helps support and soothe and uh, reduce some of that discomfort. Um, again, when you're using these oils topically, especially to a larger area like your abdomen, I recommend diluting it with fractionated coconut oil. It's going to make it a lot easier to spread onto a larger surface area, and um, it really helps these oils just get absorbed through your skin and, and, and target the issue at the root. And so, again, just one to two drops in the palm of your hand along with a little bit of fractionated coconut oil apply it to your abdomen in a clockwise direction, and that can really, really help. All right, what about gas? I know that's a fun topic to talk about, isn't it? But it happens, and for some of us, it happens more often than we would like, <laughs> and maybe even in public places where it is just not convenient. So, some oils that can really help soothe this issue are lavender, ginger, peppermint, cardamom. And then, like I said, digestin is going to be an option for all these categories. But if you're needing some additional options and solutions, these four are ones to consider. Again, topical use is going to be a really good way um, to use oils for any type of occasional gas. And so applying a couple drops of lavender to your abdomen or ginger, peppermint or cardamom, all of those oils are good ones to try um, if you're dealing with some occasional gas that um, you'd like to reduce. And then indigestion. I know indigestion is a, is a pretty common symptom for a lot of people. If you have you know, a heavy meal or um, you know, around the holidays or you just eat something that didn't agree with you very well, you might experience occasional indigestion. And so again, digest zen, ginger and peppermint are gonna be the three oils to really support that. And so again, you can use this topically. So you can apply it over your stomach, even just kind of over your, your rib cage area um, and definitely get that stomach area as well to really support and soothe any type of indigestion. Um, but also you can take a drop in water and that can really help provide quick relief to any type of indigestion that you're experiencing. Now, in addition to the oil, so that's just, you know, we covered you know, a lot of oils there that can really help soothe and aid in digestive support. Um, if you're wanting just, you know, two or three to start with, I would recommend digestin, peppermint, ginger, and lemon. Um, I didn't talk a whole lot about lemon, but I love lemon for its ability to support the digestive system, but it, it goes above and beyond that. Lemon is very cleansing and detoxifying, so it really helps cleanse and detoxify your body. It supports healthy elimination and it really supports liver, you, you know, your liver function, your kidney function. So I like to start every day with a glass of water with a couple drops of lemon and that really helps support my body. So that's another one to just add in and incorporate into your daily routine. Then on top of the oils, you know, and the lifelong vitality system, 
there's some specific supplements that can really help. And the first one is Terrazyme, and that's your digestive enzyme. If you're dealing with any type of digestive issues, you need a digestive enzyme. Most of us can benefit from having a digestive enzyme. And as we age, um, our bodies don't produce enzymes as efficiently as it should. So adding in that digestive enzyme with your meals is gonna really help you digest and absorb your food a lot better. So Terrazyme is a really nice blend of active whole food enzymes along with some supporting cofactors that really help just your body digest and absorb your food. You know, your body needs constant production of enzymes. It's critical for healthy biochemical functions, including digestion of food nutrients and cellular metabolism of nutrients to energy. And so this enzyme can really help with the digestion of proteins, fats, carbs, both complex carbs and sugars and fiber. And so adding one to three capsules to every meal is going to support healthy digestion and metabolism. It's going to help with digestion and absorption. It's gonna help reduce any uncomfortable symptoms such as bloating and gas. It's going to support the conversion of food nutrients to cellular energy. It's gonna promote gastrointestinal comfort and food tolerance, healthy production of metabolic enzymes. And this enzyme also contains an amazing tummy tamer blend of peppermint, ginger, and caraway. So it is just gonna really help you tolerate your food better, absorb those nutrients better. So I really encourage you to start incorporating Terrazyme into your meals. Again, one to three capsules with every meal. Um, and I think you'll find a lot of benefit with that. On top of that, we wanna talk about cleansing the, the digestive system. So one of my favorite products is our GX Assist. And GX Assist is a blend of specific essential oils along with caprylic acid that really aids in supporting the GI tract and eliminating any types of pathogens or overgrowth that might be present and might be contributing to some of your uncomfortable symptoms. And so GX Assist is a blend of oregano, melaleuca, lemongrass, peppermint, thyme, and it really helps purify and cleanse your digestive system. It comes in an enteric coated capsule, which means it's designed to survive the stomach acid and get to your intestines where it is intended to work. Um, it's formulated to be used as a cleansing agent for 10 days. And then after 10 days, you stop it. So just 10 days at a time, um, you can take one to three per day. Um, I recommend taking them with food. And for, for some people that are dealing with just some chronic GI stuff, I say titrate up. So start with one um, the first day, then work up to, to two, and then work up to three. And you can once you get to that three, you can take one with each meal throughout the day, um, only take it for a period of 10 days, and then take a break. But again, these powerful oils are gonna really serve in just cleansing your GI tract of any type of pathogen or overgrowth that might be present and really help support and eliminate some of your symptoms. So after you take the GX Assist, then you want to make sure you add in that probiotic. We know there's at least 10 bacterial cells for every human cell. We are primarily bacteria. We are made up of more bacteria than we are human cells. And so we have to support that, right? Um, it's interesting when you think about all the bacteria in your intestines is more than all the human cells that we're made up of, who's really making our decisions? Our bacteria is making a lot of our decisions. So when we get those sugar cravings and you know all of that, that's our bacteria talking, right? And so, and that's probably some of the bad bacteria talking. And so we need to help balance out that bacteria and support the good bacteria in our gut. And um, we're supposed to have a lot of bacteria in our gut, but sometimes it gets out of balance. Sometimes the bad stuff gets overgrown, um, but it is so important to support healthy microflora in your GI tract. It's important for digestion. It's important for nutrient absorption is critical for supporting healthy immune system because we know 70 to 80% of our immune system is in our gut. So the, met the metabolic functions of these bacteria provide you with energy, vitamins, and protection against harmful pathogens. And the composition of the bacteria in your intestines is known to affect how you digest your food, how you absorb your food. These, these bacteria have an impact on your immune system, um, how you, how you um, 
get infections or how you prevent infections, uh, drug metabolism, and even weight gain. And so we want to support healthy colonization of good bacteria and adding in a really good quality probiotic is going to help do that. And so after you do that GX assist, or really any time, um, I mean, even if you don't do the GX assist, incorporate a probiotic, okay? So take, you know, one to two capsules a day of a probiotic, and it's really going to help support healthy gut, fu gut function, healthy um, uh, metabolism, healthy digestion absorption of your food and, and your nutrients, and healthy immune function. So... I encourage you to add in that PB Assist, um, which is a wonderful probiotic. It also includes a prebiotic, which feeds the good bacteria in your gut. And so um, having that probiotic is gonna be really, really helpful for you. So those are just a few things to consider when it comes to healthy digestive function and supporting a healthy GI tract. So definitely consider on your next um, LRP order, if you don't have some of these oils or you don't have the lifelong vitality system or you don't have the digestive enzymes and the probiotics, to add those on and start incorporating those into your daily routine. And I think you'll see a lot of benefit in how you feel overall when you add those in. So, um, so that's all for today. I hope you found it helpful and definitely comment below and, you know, Share your experiences. You know, if you're using some of these products already, I'd love to hear success stories. Um, you know, some of the things that it's helped you with and how you're using them. Um, and if you have any questions that we can help address, definitely put those in the comments too. So look forward to, to hearing from all of you and hope you'll have a great day. Bye.